Restaurants, the fast food sector and bar owners are always searching how to offer their customers the best experience they can. Posios has a very flexible suite of applications that will remove boundaries between you and your customer. Please go to www.posios.com and click the App Store icon or go to the App Store directly and search for Restaurant Butler. This way you can install our application. When you start Restaurant Butler for the first time, the demo account is used. This is a great way of checking out the possibilities of our software without any tedious registration or configuration. The first screen is the login screen. Two waiters have been added as an example. They can be protected with a password and login, which allows us to track the performance of each waiter and to put his or her name on the receipts. Below we can see some information about the current version of our software and notifications showing if updates are available. Finally, we have a Manage button, which can be used to manage your restaurant, add waiters, set up our tables, input products and collect statistics. Let's select a waiter now. In this view, we see the tables of our restaurant. Tables can have different colors. These colors give us information about each table. The default white glass color means the table is free. When people are ordering things, this changes to green. If the receipt has been printed but the customer hasn't paid yet, the color is changed to red. To illustrate this, let's select the free table. This moves us to the order view. Here you can see all the products that the customers can order. Products are grouped into categories. Categories can be found here at the bottom. When we select a category, we can see the products of that category. Now let's select some drinks. There are several ways to select a product. You can tap on it. Tapping on it again adds another one and selects it again. Long press, double tapping on the receipt also adds that receipt item. And long pressing on a receipt is a third way of changing the number of products we want. And here we can also change the name of our product, the price, and quickly set the amount. Finally, products can also be added by long pro uh, pressing on a product in the left view. Where you can see a nice picture and some more information. And by adding it using our ID selection. Now that we have added some products, we can print them. First, Let's print them to the bar. Printing to the bar causes all the products to be grayed out and moved to the bottom of our list that are sent to the bar. They are printed there so our barman can already start preparing them. A bar receipt looks like this. We can now print everything to the kitchen. This first gives us a pop-up. Here we can choose to deliver someone's main dish together with someone else's soup. More on this you can see in our advanced features tutorial. Now let's just select print. A kitchen receipt looks like this. It is similar to the bar receipt, but what it exactly what is exactly on it can be configured in the manager. Even the language can be changed 
if one of our cooks speaks a foreign language, and we can even send different products to different chefs. If we go back to our tables view now, we can see that our table is now green. When we select it again, we can pick up where we left. We could now add some more orders or print the receipt if the customer asks for it. When we do that, the real receipt is printed. The real receipt looks like this. When we go back to our tables view now, we can see our table is now red, reminding us that we still need to get money from our customer. We can give them the receipt and we can let them pay. We select the payment method and when we return to the tables view, we can see the table is now free again. A little bit later, when we reload our view, we can see another table is now locked. This is because another waiter is serving that table at that moment. Visit us at posios.com and try it out for free.